Hello, internet friends. It has been a very long time. <laughs> so I, I've been meaning to record this vlog for a long time. I actually have recorded this vlog seven times now? Eight times? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but as you can see, I'm determined to just get this done. I am still in my gym clothes. I have about half an hour before I have to be somewhere. We're gonna see if we can knock this out. There's Mance here to help. Not really though. It has been over a year since my last vlog. Uh, the reason why is the reason why there is a trigger warning in the description. So uh, my mother died in March of 2017 and that was really hard. <laughs> um, just about as hard as the few years leading up to that was. Uh, it was a very traumatic thing. It was not... It turned out the death of a parent just totally is not at all like it happens in the movies. So it was very hard for me and I felt like I could not talk to... I couldn't do a vlog, I couldn't do even a regular vlog until I was ready to talk about mom. And I think I'm finally ready to talk about mom. And so that's what happened and where I've been. Last time I recorded a vlog, I had just gotten the production assistant job, which was going really great. And then they offered me another job. They offered me a promotion to social media, a social media position yet to be defined. Uh, and they said that they would give me more pay for that. I was extremely hesitant. Uh, it kind of gave me the same vibes as the last time I had an office job that really kind of sent me running for the hills. And I was very hesitant, but I decided, you know what? It would mean better health insurance and it would mean better pay. And that's the goal right now, right? Is stability and all that. So I accepted it. Yes, kitten. A week into getting that job, my mom went into hospice and it became very apparent that she was going to be gone pretty quickly. So I was all stressed out about the new job. My like red flags were still up saying, eh, I don't think we were making a good choice, uh, but whatever. So then I had to go up to Washington with having just accepted a new job and watch my mom die. So, um, by the way, the whole, everybody always says they want to die at home. Don't die at home. Die in the hospital, if at all possible. Just putting it out there. Don't die at home. <laughs> just don't do it. Unless you're going to just suddenly die in your sleep, that's great. But don't, don't purposefully die at home. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, so that happened. And then I returned to California and returned to work. And sure enough, it didn't take very long for me to figure out that I had in fact made an incorrect choice for myself and that it wasn't gonna work for me. But I decided I was gonna stick it out for a year so that it would look good on the resume. That's what all the research I did told me to do. And then try and move on. Well, that's what I did. The year went by, I job hunted, I had some really rough patches job hunting that didn't go super great. It was very difficult. Um, but I did find another job, another social media job. And they offered it to me and I jumped on it and I took it. I knew it was going to be a bit of a stretch job for me, but I went for it. And that was also a mistake. <laughs> ah, just killing the game, kitten. That job also didn't work out, but that one, I, I desperately wanted it to. Desperately, I tried really, really hard, really stretched myself. It didn't work out. Overall, it was just way too stressful for me. Basically, I was doing social media for 10 different clients when I took this job. It was too much for me. Mance can handle it, I cannot. <laughs> so uh, even when the workload became more reasonable, I just, I just couldn't. And I kind of started job hunting again and was like, this, this sucks. This is not what I want my life to be. And 
I had been pretty hung up on the, oh, I need to be as responsible as possible, like, I want to have kids, I'm running out of time. And I find him just kind of like, what good is that doing me? It's doing me no good. I keep making bad choices for myself. So, I quit my job. <laughs> Without another job lined up. And that's kind of where we're at now, except that today is actually my first day of school because I signed up for some classes. I, I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up, uh, but I'm taking some art and photography classes, which is really still kind of mind boggling to me because I have always avoided art classes like the plague because I am not an artist. I can't, I, I just, I can't, but I, I wish I could and graphic design appeals to me and the idea of being able to design my own images and graphics for social is really appealing. I did notice that the social media jobs I saw that I would actually maybe really want uh, are a lot of in-house ones where they do want you to be able to do your own graphics. Um, a lot of ones that I saw for uh, companies in the video game industry are like that, for example. I don't know. Uh, I recently decided to try teaching myself how to draw because I've always been very much not a drawing person. I used to cry with drawing assignments in class. Um, but lo and behold, with a little diligence in applying myself, I, I can draw. Maybe I'll put up some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, at least with a reference and time, I can draw. It's okay. I mean, it's not like what I remember the last time I tried drawing was, so this is, this is crazy. Uh, yeah, I had my first class this morning, which turned out to be a straight up art class. It's a prerequisite before I can do any real graphic design classes. Like, I had to go buy acrylic paint today. I am a little panicked. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be group projects, like, people are gonna be watching me in this process of learning to art for the first time. Look, I have no idea what I'm doing. I am trying something else. <laughs> I'll see if this works. I'm anxious about living off my savings. Uh, I am anxious about attempting art, which is not my thing, but maybe it is. Maybe I'm just dumb and spent too much time being afraid of it. I don't know. Uh, I had to do something different. So, here I am. No risk, no return, right? Uh, I, it's been a rough couple of years. I, I didn't mention earlier, like, right after my mom died, I got really sick and turns out I have a lovely chronic pain condition that doesn't go away and doesn't really have a whole lot in the way of treatment. So that's been another big deal. It's called interstitial cystitis. I will probably make another video where I talk about that, just like how I'm gonna need to make another video where I talk about mom. Uh, but, you know, maybe I'll put a link in the description if you really wanna know what it is. Um, but yeah, so that's also changed my life a lot. <laughs> Uh, I also have gone and danced one shift and was very conservative about it and it was kind of an experiment. It went pretty okay. So I'm kind of hoping maybe I can do this school thing and maybe not completely ob obliterate my savings. Maybe? Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I have missed it so much, which I know a lot of my friends and stuff think I'm absolutely crazy for that, but it's true. I don't know. I, I might just end up with a dislocated knee and not able to turn my neck, but yeah, maybe, maybe if I really put myself in the right headspace, I can make it work. Ah! <laughs> so this is my life right now. And it's crazy, and I don't know, maybe I'm way off, but it feels like I'm taking big risks and doing big things. 
And you know, part of that is I have promised myself that I'm going to learn from what happened with my mother and I'm not going to just be afraid of things. I'm going to do things. And so, here we go. Uh, so I, I have missed making videos. Uh, I find it's a really, really fun outlet for me. Um, even when only like three or four or five people watch or whatever, I just, it's, it reminds me of the way blogging used to feel for me, which maybe I'll do some of that too. It's just kind of a really nice way to put stuff out there. I find it very cathartic and soothing and a, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't find the word. It's a very productive way of kind of dealing with things in a little bit of a creative, productive way. So I want to be doing more of this. I want to go through this week at school and then maybe make, make another blog and tell you guys how it went and what's going on with it and we can make this an ongoing thing. I do want to make more video game videos. Uh, actually, I you may or may not know, I now co-host a video game show. I will put that somewhere. It'll definitely be in the description. I'll see if I can put it around here. But I co-host uh, Infinite Grenade Launcher, which we talk about all sorts of video game things. So you can check me out there. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe creating like a Patreon for this stuff. Would anyone actually be interested in helping me do this? <laughs> I was thinking of doing a thing like, you know, give me a dollar a month and I'll make extra somethings. Um, yeah, so uh, let me know <laughs> if that appeals to anybody. If anyone likes my content enough that we think that might be a mutually beneficial thing. Um, I would really like to make more content and I would like to support this stuff. Uh, I've been playing, you can't see it, but there's an electronic drum set over there. I've picked up the electronic drums. That's been a nice cathartic thing. So maybe I'll make some content about that as well. Tell me what you want to see. Um, yeah, because I, I miss sharing and I think I'm finally ready to. And I really do think I'm ready to, because this is the first time that I've tried to make this video and it hasn't just been extremely sad. Like, which is dumb, because yes, the last couple years were extremely sad. And that sadness is still with me, and it's still legitimate. But, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm terrified, I'm anxious, it has yet to be seen whether I'm making a really bad decision or not. But, I am excited. And I am definitely way happier than I was a month ago. I was like, what the flip am I gonna freaking do about this? So, thank you for watching. I um, thank you in advance for any feedback you have, for your comments, your support. A lot of you have probably seen a lot of this on Instagram already and have been really supportive. Thank you. I really value it. I am a strange, awkward person in a lot of ways uh, and so my internet friendships are very helpful and important to me so thank you uh, thank you for watching please leave me a comment tell me what you want what you think what we should do and yeah <sighs> all right I gotta go to my next class <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you for hanging in there with me and coming back. I am Josie the Fiend. Finally.